I actually just realized. I think Vidit is my. I think that's my best win. Ever. Yeah, that's my highest rated win. I mean, he was 3060, and we beat him, and he became 3048. But that's uh, that's my best win on my account. My rating is uh, gonna get a beat down today. Definitely not looking forward to this. Hello, Aiden. Spudge, thanks for the 30 months, man. Troll it arrow with the bits. Thank you, Mr. Troll. Queen e6 to still have the bishop able to develop? I don't know. Also, queen c5 check. I'm one move away from long castling, too. Or so I think. Thanks for the 17 with prime. I mean, this kind of looks like a good move, doesn't it? He's obviously planning to... take the material. These always uh, stress me out because I go bishop g3 and then like I'm just dealing with the guy developing with tempo for the next like five six moves. Imagine another move. Knight d5 is the only other, only other option. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Knight d5 and e6 or something. Thanks, bud. Yeah, he played the move I expected. <laughs> Still very stressful in my opinion. Knight d5 coming. Maybe we go here because 94 doesn't really matter that much. Because I don't know where he's going next with that move. Hmm. This move is kind of funny. Kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie.
it's definitely some definitely some problems here that still need fixing Here, maybe we can take Bishop D5 is possible soon. Yeah, I think we take. We want to trade something. Give me a damn trade. We should before it develops. Before we take this, maybe we want to take on B2. I don't know. Holy smokes. That game was. Buddy just sent it, sacked everything he owned. The CMs are coming to nibble at my rating. A5 will go rook b1. You can do it anyway. Obviously, we have the classic ship takes h7 move available. So that's not hanging, but if you place any of these such moves, then it will be. Knight e4 might happen. Take, take, take. Bishop c6 seems to work, but we'll play c3 after knight e4. G6 obviously is our cue to defend that knight. Queen on e5 certainly looks good. He's most likely going to play queen d6 here. Okay. Still the same type of move. Guarding e5. He's for sure going to match that with h5. Q4. 
Queen e5 is definitely not a bad move. Takes, takes, knight g8, but it just might not be good enough. Hmm, that looks like a good move. I really want him to play this, but just have to make sure it doesn't happen at a very bad time for me. Like maybe I don't want my bishop on d3, so it's a fork. Okay, it goes here. Can't tell if he's trying to go f6. Maybe he is and I have not been uh, anticipating properly, but we have queen d3, which is always nice. We hit this pawn and we also maybe get ready to play f3. Knight's kind of annoying guarding that square. I I'd like to use that square for my own pieces. So like f3, knight back, rook e5, rook g5, and maybe look to sack on, on g6. That could be an idea. a6 would be the best move for us to see right now. Definitely be doubling the rooks. A5, rook e1, b4. Yeah, rook g5 and rook takes g6 was the initial threat. So if we go here, will the king move? I'm trying to understand. Let's just double, because I think we have knight e6 as a threat. Also getting on the g6 pawn. Just activating all the pieces here. How do we continue? The position feels really good, but try to get a five out of them. We'll definitely get a six. No, still nothing. thinking of trying g4 now. Definitely a risky move, but I feel like it's time. Queen to e5 here.
I was gonna play rook c7 anyway. Um, which would also, yeah. well, I was about to play rook c7 here. Position got a little out of hand, but still here, even though it feels like we haven't made progress, eventually the queen will get to e5 and there's some kind of push. He's uh, just trading all the pieces. Ooh. sure how we play for something here. Very weird move. He's letting me play both of d5 and b5 right now. I'm trying to understand. So if we go b5, I guess the only move he's got in the position is knight a3. And he's going to say that that covers him. So d5 looks like the more correct move. Then we have to deal with knight e5. is the only move. We can take on a3, but that doesn't feel like it's good enough. His bishop's going to be pretty strong there.
and to abandon this idea in favor of something better. Knight a6 should lose the should lose the knight. just take it. <clears throat> nice for a little tricky for a second. Just had to make sure we didn't act a fool and uh, get our rook forked. So it took me a while to refuculate the engine. Okay, <laughs> we're playing Vidit. Great. He probably he probably never seen the London before. This will probably catch him off guard. He probably won't know what to do. There's no way he'll completely equalize out of the opening, and I'll be struggling to stay afloat. Couldn't possibly be. Few people have played this against me before. Queen b6 and g6. Knight h5. Wow. So peculiar. So if I take on d5, I guess knight takes d4 will happen. Like this. That doesn't look the best. But isn't bishop e3? e6. Really?
I don't know about this. I'm trying to take that. I feel like trading the dark squared bishops is something of an achievement for me. Rook was probably very useful there. Something like this looks like it's in my future. Bishop b5 feels almost like it has to happen. Yeah, I feel like I like that move. Try to take and go there maybe. Timing on that was so poor. But we, we do get this square. I think we want to take, but not trade the queens, maybe just leave a... We go. Got a nice one in there. Nice checkmate in time pressure. Oof, that was a very sweaty game. Hey, yeah, I don't know if this was the right decision, but your boy deserves some credit. Offered a queen trade in the face of a queen trade. We played queen b2. It doesn't even have to be a good move. We rejected a queen trade.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll be here all day. Queen trade offered. Staring it, staring down the barrel of a queen trade. We said no. And I don't know, I think it was the right decision. This knight was like super strong, always covering g4. To be honest, it got very messy here, but I, I felt like I had to bring the knight away to finally like just do something, but I don't know. So honestly, after I took here, if he takes, if I take rook takes here, I have to go king f1. I was probably not gonna do well there. I don't know if there's like an immediate mate, but it just looked super sketchy. I mean, like rook here to, I don't even know. Yeah, that, that might just win or something. So after this, I mean, who knows what would have happened. That was a different story. But, but in order for me to play knight here, I had to allow g4. So it's like I was never going to get anything happening myself without allowing g4. So I knew it was going to get messy. And here I was thinking that he was going to play queen take c3. And go into this. But I knew I had rook uh, b8 and queen c6 here. Because immediately when I take like this, I have to know that I have a threat with a check. Otherwise, I might just get... Like, otherwise, this move might win, right? Just pawn takes f3 and g2. So I think I'm in trouble unless I have, like, a, a check. So I always knew I had rook b8 or something. Very nice. Nice win. Wait a minute. This is the first time in my life I've ever won going into the break. You guys know I don't win before the break. Is this how it feels to enjoy a break? When you've actually won your games? It's a strange feeling. Usually I use my breaks to untilt. I actually just realized... I think Vida is my... I think that's my best win. Ever. Yeah, that's my highest rated win. I mean, he was 3060. And we beat him and he became 3048. But that's... Uh, that's my best win on my account.